uh, hi everyone welcome to this video so today we will solve this problem uh, so read the question first uh, what is the output impedance uh, or not uh, this resistance of the cascaded structure in the figure above so you have to find uh, the uh, resistance looking into this node okay and we all know this is a very common uh, like common structure this is called cascode right and this device is called uh, cascode device and this device is called degenerative device generative device right and you all know what is the looking in impedance at this node right this is nothing but on plus gm let's say this is uh, gm right gm2 ro2 into the output resistance of this degenerative device that is nothing but uh, ro1 plus the output resistance of this uh, cascoded device this is nothing but ro2 right we all know that but uh, how it comes we all know that uh, to find to find any resist like to find uh, the re uh, equivalent resistance looking uh, into a point is nothing but what we do is uh, we apply a test voltage with respect to ground and measure what is the current coming out of this node right and then we uh, what we do is then we take vx over ix ratio and find the uh, r like output like impedance looking into that node right so what we can do is here we can directly apply a small signal voltage source this is vx and this is our ix okay and uh, for small signal analysis we all know that these biases are shorted to the ground right so if we do small signal analysis you will find that this is our applied vx and this is our ix to be measured and the small signal model of this uh, cascoded device will look like this right so here g is grounded so this g is grounded uh, and this is our this terminal this point and uh, here another okay here is output resistance present right this is r of 2 let's say and here present another dependent current source and this is also ground right this bias conditions are grounded this is small signal ground and this is also grounded and here also a output resistance of this uh, m on transistor like this is m on and this is m2 this is ro1 so if we if, like if we calculate uh, like if you solve if you solve this circuit and you will find vx over ix is nothing but this condition like this expression okay so i encourage you to do uh, to solve this circuit and get uh, this uh, get this uh, like get this uh, final expression okay so we will directly put these values and see what will be the answers uh, among these four okay so let's put this value and here e power 6 is nothing but 10 power 6 uh, yes yes 10 power 6 okay here e means 10 okay so let's put this value like 1 plus gm2 gm2 is 3 okay and e power minus 6 is nothing but 10 power minus 6 okay so 1 plus gm2 is 3 into 10 power minus 6 then okay okay wait please and then ro2 value is 1 into e power 6 so this is nothing but 1 into 10 power 6 okay r1 value is r1 value is 2 into 10 power 6 and plus ro2 and ro ro2 is nothing but 
1 into 10 power 6 okay this is our r out so this this cancels so we are having 1 plus 3 into 2 into 10 power 6 plus 10 power 6 right so so we have this is uh, 4 4 into 2 is 8 into 10 power 6 plus 10 power 6 so this is nothing but 9 into 10 power 6 and this is nothing but 9 into e power 6 so our option 1 is the correct answer right so this was very like this is very common question but you you have to write this full expression okay you cannot assume it is equal to gm2 ro2 into ro1 okay you cannot do this here okay you have to write uh, like complete expression for this particular question and if you solve this circuit you will get these expressions so thank you and uh, if you like our video you can subscribe subscribe our channel and you will get more videos like that thank you